I'm going to record one more screencast here to show you how to do the VLOOKUP function. And I'm, this time I'm going to use only the mouse because I have a feeling that using the keyboard shortcuts is what's causing some confusion for people. So if we want the account name to appear in this cell, given the account number that's in this cell, here's how we're going to write this formula. Okay, I'm going to do equals VLOOKUP and opening parentheses. The lookup value is going to be what's in cell C4. Okay, so I'm going to click on C4. You see it puts C4 in there. I'm going to hit comma, and that's going to ask now for the table array. So the table array I'm going to use is on the trial balance worksheet. So I'm going to click on the trial balance worksheet. I'm going to select columns A and B. Okay, you'll notice it puts trial balance A colon B in there. Then I'm going to push comma again. And now I'm going to put 2 because I want it to return the value that's in the second column, which is column B. And then I'm going to do a comma again and type false and close the parentheses. And that's my VLOOKUP formula, accrued wages payable. If I copy and paste that formula down, you'll see that it switches to cash. If I change this, if I change it to an actual valid number, it will put in another account name. Okay, so whatever I type in here, it changes the account name to uh, reflect that. And that's all there is to writing a VLOOKUP uh, formula. Another way that you could do this, and if you're new with formulas, this might make more sense, is let's um, go up here on the Formulas tab and we'll do Insert Function. And we know that uh, VLOOKUP is the function that we want. And so let's just see if it's... Sorry, i got to bring that on the screen. So when you do insert function, it brings up this little dialog box. This shows me the most recently used functions that I've used, which VLOOKUP is not in here. So I know that I want VLOOKUP. And so then I can get it to show up here. And what this does then is it'll say, okay, what's your lookup value? Okay, well, I can click on that little thing at the end of the row and click on the cell that I want it to be my lookup value and hit enter. And then it brings me back to this screen. What's my table array? Again, I can click on this little button at the end of the row. And then go over to trial balance. And again, pick columns A and B. And it puts trial balance A and B in there. Hit enter. It brings me back to this. My column index number, I want to be 2. Okay, I know that that will return the value that's in the second column, which is the account name. And then I know for the range lookup that I want this to be false. Okay, and you can see here, it tells you what the answer is going to be for that column. So, for this cell, rather. So, for cell with the value of 2002 here, it's going to bring back accrued wages payable. So, if I click OK, now I've written my formula. That's another way to write an Excel function. Okay, and then again, if we copy it or if we fill this down, it'll fill in the names. Now, we'll put the NA in there. Um, but if you if you don't care for that, you can watch the earlier screencast I did where you use an if function with the if is na to get rid of it, or you can just delete that out of the cells, you know, where you don't have a journal entry. And if you have a, another journal entry here, I'm gonna find uh, whatever. Um, just delete the na out of the cells where you don't care to have it, I guess. Um, so hopefully this will help you understand. Um, I tend to use the keyboard shortcuts, which is why you see on a lot of the screencasts the actual keyboard shortcuts flashing down here at the bottom of the screen that show you the key combinations that I've used. But uh, f for those of you that are more comfortable using the mouse and for stepping through it um, more methodically, hopefully this was a useful video for you.